The Ted Berry Company was founded in 1972 by my grandfather, Ted Berry. We're a third generation family owned and operated business in Livermore, Maine. We serve all of Maine, uh, all of New England, including the islands. We offer industrial and municipal services. We have a crew of approximately 30 employees. We represent them and their families. We're hardworking, dedicated. We're built on service. We're built on trust and commitment. There's really no company that you can find that's more committed to a project than our company is. We have been for nearly 40 years, and we hope to be for 40 more years. Our 700 jet up to our manhole. We got everything in place in the invert. We got our protective shoe on our three quarter inch hose. We have a culvert nozzle inside the pipe. That's what we use to flush out any debris, grit, or any grease that could be caught up in the pipe. What we're doing here is we're trying to maintain hydraulic flow in the system. Uh, what we do, we'll send this pipe up to the next manhole. We'll get it flushing all the way back. We'll run that two or three times, or at least until we feel that the pipe is clean enough. Pull this section all the way down to here. We'll keep following this all the way down to where the pump station is. What will happen after the pump station is our vacuum crew will come in. Any debris, grit, grease, gravel, anything that we've actually pulled into that pump station will then get vacuumed out, cleaned up, and that will be good for another year. Basically what we're going to do is drop this camera slash tractor down into a sewer manhole, um, let it travel down the sewer line and inspect the entire internal integrity of the pipe looking for cracks, how good the connections are made, service lateral connections, the location of them, just basic general overall condition of the interior part of the pipe. Typically the planning process begins when we are presented a project. The project may come from a phone call from an owner, general contractor, private entity, a bid, additional work from previous work that we've done. Once we have a conversation with the owner or the general contractor, whoever we're working for, we will determine from that whether it's a project that requires little planning or more in-depth planning. whatever's under there. If there's something under there that's conductive, the receiver will pick it up and you can trace it as long as it goes. Pipe bursting is a method of replacing an existing pipe with a new pipe with the same or larger inner diameter. Um, the project we're working on today, traditionally, if it was open cut entrenched, would be a two to three week construction. We've reduced that by using static pipe bursting into a three to five day construction schedule. I'm in a very difficult area of York Beach with lots of road traffic, There's lots of expensive properties. I have granite curbing and sidewalk that the sewer line is under. By using pipe bursting, I don't have to worry about replacing sidewalk. I don't have to worry about putting curbing back. I won't have much paving to do. Pretty much a textbook perfect example of where pipe bursting works extremely well. I'm Sean Reddy from the Ted Berry Company. We're here in York, Maine on Ocean Avenue, prepping for a 12-inch vitrified clay gravity sewer replacement. The uh, project entails about 1,900 to 1,000 feet of 12-inch high-density polyethylene and IPS. We're going to be utilizing the static pipe bursting method for installation. Behind me is our uh, fusion operation. The project starts usually with this operation starting first, assembling our main line and our temporary bypass line. We have a 412 Trackstar McElroy fusion machine fusing the 6-inch DR17 IPS discharge pipe that will be utilized during the, the bypass pumping. The pipe directly behind me is a 12-inch uh, DR17 IPS. This is our new main line. That's being fused with a 618 McElroy Pitbull fusion machine. Gets us started day one, putting together our mains and getting them set off to the side and ready to be installed. 
Now they're digging a dual reception pit where the machine pit is. The machine will be set into this hole that they're digging now and pull a 450 foot pipeline from each direction. The process they're doing on it is they're setting the, the static burst machine in the receiving pit. They'll begin the rod payout process once the machine is shored and the rod is centered in the existing pipe. This will take approximately a half an hour, at which point then they'll start paying out rod. I'm going to show you how the tooling works. The trenchless technology pipe bursting crew, Ted Bear. Got the line slitter. This is what he's going to cut the pipe. He's going to go through. Split the pipe at 12 o'clock, stop breaking it apart for us, and then it's going to move down to here where our expander cone on the end of our 12 inch uh, HDPE pipe is going to expand the hole so that we can have less pipe drag on the HDP as we bring it in. We heard about Ted Berry from uh, other wastewater operators and the good job that they did. The district has been very satisfied with uh, Ted Berry Company's work. They're very professional, their equipment's top notch, they're not afraid to try anything to get the job done. I really can't think of a better company than Ted Berry. Uh, they're very, very qualified, very conscientious in everything they do, very safety conscious. We've been using Ted Berry Company since uh, 1990 or so when I started. Uh, we started with uh, Ted and then uh, Jimmy took over and now Matt is at the helm. And uh, all three of them have been super to work with, very knowledgeable and uh, having them in the neighboring town, uh, it, it's been very helpful to the town of Jay. They have all of the equipment and resources that we can rely on.